Alright, in this video I'm going to be tying the uh, Maryland Shad Fly in a variation number one. This is a fly that's part of the Pfeiffer collection. Um, <clears throat> the, um, the pattern calls for a uh, hook size 10 in a uh, 3x, 3x, 4x, or 6x length. This is a 3x uh, length size 10 hook. It's a TMC 5263 that I have in the vise right now. I'm going to be tying this with uh, 6 aught uni thread in a black. I'm going to go ahead and lay down some thread. I'm going to start about uh, an eye's length behind the eye. And then take our thread down to the barb. I'll be honest, uh, the first time I tied this fly, I'm surprised at how pretty it turned out. Um, the picture, black and white picture in Pfeiffer's book really doesn't do it justice. It's a beautiful fly. Alright, for the tail we're going to use um, some barbs from a red saddle hackle. So I have, uh, I have a section here. I like a webby uh, webby hackle. So I'm just going to take those tips and kind of align them. And then just peel away from the stem. And you should end up with uh, you know, pretty even barbs there. And we're just going to go ahead and tie them in um, maybe one and a half the length the length, I guess, would be one and a half uh, as long as the gape of the hook. And that looks about right. Uh, next we're going to tie in some silver tinsel. I'm just going to take that and fold it around my thread. Fold it in half around your thread and then capture it at the butt of the fly. And then I'm going to go ahead and advance my thread forward and I want to keep kind of the butt end of the feathers there just to have a consistent thickness of the body. And I'll just bring our thread back up to our starting point, which is about a hook eye's length. Behind the eye, and snip off our excess feather. All right, I'm just going to touch the thread wraps with some Sally Hansen's to help protect the silver tinsel, and then I'll begin to wrap that silver tinsel around the body in touching turns just take your time
It takes a little bit of patience. It is a 3x long hook. But your patience will be rewarded. Nice looking fly. Alright, just go ahead and capture our tinsel with our thread. And snip away the excess. Alright, next I'm going to touch those tinsel wraps with Sally Hansen's again just to protect them. Alright, now we're going to tie in a throat. <clears throat> And same thing, I like a webby um, saddle fiber. So I'm just going to pull a section of tips about that wide and then strip them from the stem. Make sure your Sally Hansen's is dry. And that feels pretty good. And we want the uh, tips of the throat to basically touch the tip of the hook. I'm going to tie it in on the side. A couple loose wraps. And check my length. It's about right. And then I'll advance my thread forward. And snip away the excess. And then I just like to lift up the throat and get a wrap behind it just to help it stand up. About like that. So next I want to tie in the wing and to do that I'm going to use two saddle hackle uh, feathers and I, I pull them from each side of the strung uh, section of, of feathers so they kind of match. You can find usually find two that are pretty similar and one that kind of folds into the left and right. <clears throat> Go ahead and line those feathers up by the tips about like that. Line them up by the tips so they're uniform. And we just want to kind of measure the length of the wing. <clears throat> the wing should be as long as the tail. And that looks about right. So I've got a good measurement there. I'm just going to strip back some of these fibers so I know where to trim my feather. pretty good. And then we'll just go ahead and build up the head. It looks pretty good. Let's give it a whip finish. Snip away our thread. Careful not to cut the throat. And we'll just touch that head with the little Sally Hansons to protect the thread wraps. Alright, and that is the Maryland Shadfly in variation number one. Really pretty fly.